Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last 10 Gamers, and welcome. So today is Thursday, and Thursday means one thing. We've got an exciting new update from the Space Engineers developers, and you're probably wondering what you'll be getting your hands on this week. Well, let me tell you, this week's update is quite a big overhaul, especially to the graphics. Now, you can just see around us from looking at it using DirectX 11 that has been now introduced into Space Engineers. It has allowed for a higher level of detail, and you can just see this on these blocks themselves. The blocks have not all been modified just yet. There's some modified blocks over on this platform, but you can see how the light is affecting the actual rocks. And if we come a little bit closer to this asteroid, even though these are using the old sort of models, the detailing of them in DirectX 11 has just been enhanced. And we've also got this new sort of skybox as well. Just really beautiful. You can see that the edges are really sharp. The reflections are really crisp as well. You see the corners there, how sharp they actually are. Look at that, absolutely beautiful. And now these are some of the new blocks. So this is the actual beacon. They've all been overhauled and replaced and you can see the extra detail has been added. It's actually been ribbed to the beacon inside a bit like a lighthouse sort of bulb. It's been added some extra protection rivets on the side. Just really cool, allowing for that extra level of detail. So if we head over here, we've got a spotlight. Now the spotlight, as you can see here, is just the same as before. It's got a little bit of protection on the front. It looks more like a sort of light you'd find on an ocean liner now at the moment. And you've got this sort of back sort of industrial power pack sort of rounded cylinder at the look of that. You've just got that extra level of detail on the bitmap itself. You can see how it's been sort of in depth in. And then once again, it's got further little grooves going around the back. Just a real great overhaul of the previous model. And hopefully they're gonna get around to doing every single one of these. Now, this is the projector block. And you can see they've done once again, they've really staggered the sort of levels to make a lot more deep detail. They've beveled the edges and they've cornered and rounded. Just look at the roundness and the sharpness of that round. It's not as jiggity as it used to be before. It used to be very squared sort of rounded objects. And you can see how it's just been cut away in with individual little rivets going into that blue, well not blue, going into that green sort of configuration, each little slit that's been cut into the design, making for that final really smooth little piece. Now, my favourite block, the warhead block, and I think it's Tazu's as well, has been overhauled as well. You can see it's got these sort of push sort of pistons that look like this, asking to be twisted and pushed into the central core, maybe to blow it up. It's also got a little bit of a logo. You can see how they've manipulated the actual block, so it's a lot more detailed. These parts are sticking out from the actual explosive device, and its sort of case has been reinforced as well. There seems to be some sort of text behind the warhead here, maybe some warning sort of signs for transportation, something. When we go around over here, we can actually find we've got the upside down control panel. Very cool. Let's have a look inside the station. So something you may have already noticed, DirectX 11 has changed the sort of depth or the darkness of the windows. So this window is the usual way around, so it's dark on the outside, light on the inner. So I shouldn't be able to see in here if I was in the previous model, but you can see I can see into here really clearly. And I think that's really cool. I don't know if this was done on purpose or since it's got the new physics-based rendering, I can just clearly see through that block because it's not as dark as it should be. But that's what I really like. I like these windows to be tinted, but they're tinted in such a way where I can still see through them. So if we come over to here, you can see the button panel. You can see the glow from that little square a lot better pulsing around the actual button. And we'll lower this gate down. It's just the sharpness of each individual object that's been increased as well as the shadows on everything else. So as we've entered into here, you can see the shadows. And one of the most important things about the shadows of notice is how they're actually affected by the asteroids now. Before it seemed like light used to pass through the actual asteroids and not really affect them. I've got a better example of it up here in this next room. So we'll actually open this door up and you can see how the red glow is actually sticking to the ceiling of the asteroid shelter a lot better than it previously would and it's using the sort of bitmap you can see it's also shadowing and shading as it fades into the cracks and grooves so adding that extra level of definition to the floor just really cool now the smoke effects and the missiles i tested them out and they don't seem to look too much different a little bit more um sort of precise you could say in direct s11 but nothing too special i guess it's due to the pacific sort of animation or sort of model they've got for the smoke plumes that is working there, but still the sharpness of DirectX 11 is just allowing for such a great level of detail. Let's head outside and I'm gonna show you the new way of manipulating station blocks. 
Now, the final thing I want to show you is switching between DirectX 11 and DirectX 9. So you can configure the game in the old version if you want to run like a heavily modded ship. You can just basically go to the graphics setting and there's a drop down menu here and you can select DirectX 9. So you want to quickly work on an old ship that's running the old sort of mods until people have updated them. But when modders update them, get a higher level of detail, everything should be available in DirectX 11 and it will look absolutely perfect. Now for the station block. You may have noticed this in last week's update, but it was kind of more of a secretive sort of feature. It was not really mentioned. And if we go and start a new station, we can see how it locks to the usual sort of grids. So it's perfect for building a really sort of simple station or doing things like this. So if I add two parts like that, I can actually connect them up because they're on the same sort of grid. But you can now freely place your stations and you can do this by pressing B. So as I press B here, it's actually free to be placed. I can do all the cool things that I could do before with an actual ship block. I can rotate it. And the reason for this is they wanted you to be able to align your sort of stations with the sun without having to use rotors for actual aiming of your solar panels. It's not too much of a big improvement, but I guess if you want your station to be out of configuration or out of one of the marks, so say for instance, I want my station to be angled up this asteroid like that, then I can do it now. But the problem is, of course, it won't snap back to that previous shelter. You can see here, can't, won't be able to make it snap back unless I build a further feature onto it. Now, a good thing about this is you can snap blocks to the end of them with merge blocks, or you can do this old technique. You can just slap them onto the end like so. So I've just got my station block, copy and pasting and clicking it on. Now, if it's out of grid or into grid, you can see it's out of grid mode, into grid mode, lock it in. And say, for instance, I want to rotate my station around. It's just going to increase the building speed by so much. I can move that up there and place that like that. So you can build a station on multiple levels a lot faster than you previously could using the old system. So it's really cool and it's a nice feature. Anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time.